Testosterone has the reputation of being the ultimate man hormone. When it comes to muscle growth, there's an unquestionable connection. When anabolic steroids are used, which includes testosterone, bodybuilders can go from this to this. But what about improving our testosterone levels naturally? If we were to go from the low end of normal to the high end, would that improve our ability to build muscle? And what about our overall body composition? Will it make it easier for us to lose body fat? A testosterone level of at least 300 nanograms per deciliter is considered to be the low end of normal, with the high end being around 1,000. Since they typically say that our testosterone levels decrease with age, could this be the reason we lose muscle mass? And if it is, can we reverse it? They did a study looking at 252 men between the ages of 18 to 85, and they put them in four groups based on their testosterone levels. The lowest group had an average T level of 348, with the highest group's average being 717. What they found was an increase in lean body mass with each group as the testosterone levels went up, with the biggest difference being in the lower body. The highest testosterone group had 22% more lean mass in the lower body than the lowest group. Upper body mass wasn't as significant with only a 5.6% improvement from the lowest to the highest. The second highest group with an average testosterone level of 589 had the exact same amount of upper body lean mass as the highest group. There have been numerous studies done where they've used drugs to manipulate T levels, including suppressing testosterone to the low end of normal and below. Now, I don't know where they find these guys to volunteer to have their T levels reduced, but the results support what was found in the first study. Suppressing testosterone production reduced lean body mass. Now, to be clear, lean body mass isn't just muscle. It includes your bones, organs, blood, and skin but it is a good indicator of the amount of muscle a person has. So far, we've established that the baseline muscle mass is greater in people with naturally high testosterone levels, with it lowering when their testosterone is suppressed and vice versa. Still, we have to look at whether or not higher natural levels of testosterone help us to build more muscle than if we're on the low end of normal. Now, we'll come back to this, but first, Let's look at the best way we can increase our testosterone naturally and the relationship between body fat and testosterone. When we make one positive change for our bodies, it affects more than just one area. For example, strength training does more than make us stronger. It has been shown to increase testosterone and it aids in losing body fat. Losing excess body fat is the number one thing we can do to boost our testosterone. And while this may be difficult at the start, as we lose body fat, our testosterone levels go up, and along with strength training, increases our muscle and lean body mass, firing up our metabolism, aiding in losing fat, and making it easier to maintain a lower body fat percentage. To look at how much increased testosterone helps us build muscle, they did an interesting study back in 1996, where they took four groups of men. One just took a placebo and didn't train. The second group took testosterone, but didn't train. Third group took a placebo and resistance trained, with the final group taking both testosterone and resistance training. For those using testosterone in the study, their levels are elevated well over what would be possible to obtain naturally, with their levels being between 2,828 and 3,244 nanograms per deciliter. After 10 weeks, the testosterone-only group increased their fat-free mass by 3.2 kilograms, and the group that did resistance training alone gained 2 kilograms. Now, this is the interesting part. And before we look at what the group that combined both testosterone and resistance training did, let's add up the testosterone only and resistance training only results. So 3.2 kilograms was the gains of the T only group, plus 2 kilograms from the resistance training only group, equaling 5.2 kilograms. The combined group gained 6.1 kilograms of fat free mass, just 0.9 more than the total of the T only and resistance only groups. This small amount is essentially the positive effect this added testosterone had on resistance training. With testosterone levels being around three times higher than what would be considered the highest levels we could attain naturally. So the real advantage of increasing our testosterone naturally is to improve our baseline level of lean body mass. Add to this resistance training and you can get some pretty impressive results. 
Now watch this video next to find out the best way to use exercise and weight loss to boost your testosterone. That way we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.